today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourites for the month of January. I may or may not have just spent the last 10 minutes trying to film the introduction to this video and it's just not happening. So we're just going to jump straight into this. First beauty favourite is Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday Perfume. This smells so good. It's a very sweet kind of scent but it's not too overpowering perfect for day and night whatever tickles your fancy every time i wear this guaranteed i get compliments about how good i smell and i'm like it's natural it's not it's this it's incredible and the packaging <laughs> let's just take a moment to talk about the packaging it's Nicki minaj in a bottle just add a ghetto booty and <laughs> It's her. Also this month, I've been loving my beauty blender. I got this online from Luxola. I have a link to their website down below in case you're interested. Before I received this, I was always kind of skeptical about the whole beauty blender trend. The whole hype over this sponge, I was like, okay, it's a sponge, it does the job. I'm sure it's, you know, great. Nah, -uh, honey, this is so good. I love it so much. God bless, that was probably really unhygienic. <laughs> I use this every day now, and before I use it, I just put it under some cold running water. It expands, which is so magical. The first time I did it, I was in complete and utter awe. I was like, I feel like I'm watching a Pokemon evolve or something. It was crazy. It doubles in size, and then you just use it to apply foundation. It just does such a good job of creating a nice, natural, but flawless looking finish to your skin. It's so good. And unlike other makeup sponges and brushes that I've used in the past, this doesn't soak up all the product, which is literally the most frustrating thing. You spend like $50 on a MAC foundation, or maybe you don't, that was just me. <laughs> it was sucked in, okay? I was like, $50, it must be great. It was a good product. And then you go use some fancy brush and it like eats the product. It soaks it all up. I'm like, what is the point in this? This is such a waste. I may as well use my hands. What else are they good for? But then I discovered this and I really, really do like it. I definitely recommend it. Also, in the way of makeup and other great things, I've been loving the sleek face form contouring and blush palette this is in light i've been using this every day just to add a nice little contour highlight not really a blush i'm not a huge fan of the blush i like it i've worn it i've used it it works really well but it's just not super flattering with my pale skin so i've just been sip sipping <laughs> i've just been sticking to the bronzer and the highlighter these two work really well together i actually have them on today they're very natural looking give me a nice little bit of glow define my face a little bit i really really like these two and it has a really nice mirror Am I blinding you? <laughs> Biggest YouTube pet peeve. Sorry, I'll cover the mirror because I'm blinding you. Because apparently you can go blind from a mirror. I get it, it's annoying. It's annoying, but it doesn't blind you. Fun fact of the day. So yeah, I've been loving that for this month. Uh, next product I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This is the Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. Because you know me, always kissing those boys. This color in particular I've really been enjoying. This is number 730, Make Your Move. Come on Channing Tatum, it's been like five years. This is just a nice everyday my lips but better kind of color. I have this on my lips right now and I just had dinner. Not any old dinner, it was some greasy ass homemade pizza. Delicious, might I add, and I went to town with that pizza and it's still rocking. It's still going strong It doesn't like bunch up like other long wearing lip products that I've tried after a while. They kind of like bunch up like Almost like the bits of an eraser. You know what I mean? Like I don't like it So I was kind of skeptical about this, but I've tried it on several occasions and I really really like it So I've been loving these just for everyday wear. I got a bunch of colors. I got sent the whole set all the colors the full Monty it was great so yeah I've been loving that for the month of January 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 Styles uh, the last of my beauty favorites for this month is a lip product this is Max hello oh my god so popular hello I'm filming a video so inconsiderate seriously <sighs> As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, this is Max Velvet Teddy, absolute favourite lip product of this month. I've been wearing this all the time. It's just the perfect colour, even with my pale ass complexion. It's just a beautiful nude. I'm even going to swatch it because I mean business. This is such a beautiful lipstick and I heard about this originally from Kylie Jenner inevitable and then I was actually inspired by it because of Brittany Lee Saunders here on YouTube. So thank you Brittany, God bless your soul. So also this month I've been loving reading, it has become my thing, my guilty pleasure. Not that it's guilty, it's very educational. 10 out of 10 would recommend reading, it's beautiful stuff. I used to read all the time when I was younger and then high school came and then 
I discovered YouTube and it all it just went downhill from there. But now I'm done with school and I'm not going to university at least for this next year. I kind of crave like learning. I have the thirst for like literature. So I've really gotten back into reading. I've even set a goal for me to read. I guess sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I want to read a hundred books this year. I'm already six books in. I can, I can do it. Maybe. We'll see. So I have two books to share with you this month. The first is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg or Zoella here on YouTube. I love watching her videos. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so I decided to pick up her book. It's not my ultimate favorite, but I did enjoy it. It's a nice, like, light beach read. I actually read this on the beach when I was away in Queensland. And it was just, it was a nice, light-hearted, easy read. So if you're not really into reading, I would recommend this. It was a cute book. And the other book I really enjoyed this month is Matched by Ali Condi. It's a dystopian book, so it's set in the future. But instead of the society hating the government, they like them. There's just a routine to everything and they can only do certain things by the government standards. The government even decides who they fall in love with basically and it kind of centers around that. One thing leads to another, there's a little bit of a love triangle, a little bit of action and it's a good book. It's very like engaging, that's the word. <laughs> and it's pretty quick weed. Weed. It's a pretty quick, it's a pretty quick, <laughs> that is a tongue twister. It's a pretty quick read and I just ordered the other two books in the trilogy so I cannot wait to read them. I definitely recommend giving that a read especially if you like like dystopian books like Divergent, Hunger Games. It's like that but centered more around like love. It's really beautiful. Also this month I've been loving my planner. I picked this up from Typo at the end of last year and this has been my saviour especially this month. I've had so much going on. I've had so many shifts at work and different social commitments and YouTube videos that I've wanted filmed and I just colour code everything. It's just a great time. Last thing I've been loving is Snapchat. I've really been on that Snapchat game. I've just been loving like Snapchatting back and forth with you guys, updating my story. So if you'd like to add me on Snapchat, it's just Smiley Citrus. It's a great time. I like to think I'm entertaining. I honestly just replay my own Snapchat story over and over again because I just I just cracked myself up, what could I say? And that is it. That is everything I've been loving for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave any video requests you may have down below because I, I just need ideas. Help a pal out, please. Make sure to check out all my other social media links down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! That was so cheesy. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, oh. that is disgusting. Oh. That is absolutely oh. disgusting. Get it oh. out. Get it out. <laughs>